Bow speed, bow pressure and the change of sounding point are the only three actions that can affect your sound. This is very important. The left hand is responsible only for pitch and vibrato, but it cannot make differences between forte and piano. To control speed, pressure and sounding point, I will show you an exercise for each of these elements. We start with bow speed. We play one beat with the fastest possible bow speed and one beat with the slowest speed. Due to the high bow speed, you have to practice this close to the fingerboard. Then we double the tempo of the exercise, we do it twice on one bow, then four times, six times and so on. Make sure you only change the speed of the bow, there should be no pressure from your index finger in the entire exercise. Now we practice pressure. In this case, the speed does not change, it stays constant and each beat gets half a bow. Press for one beat and release the pressure completely for the second beat. Now speed it up. Make sure your bow speed does not change. The third exercise is for change of sounding point. The sounding point is the place on the string between the bridge and the fingerboard where your bow touches the string. Start at the fingerboard and go to the bridge then back to the fingerboard all in one bow. Now try the same motion twice in one bow. The bow has to stay parallel to the bridge. That means your arm extension controls your sounding point. As you get faster, the range of sounding points becomes smaller in this exercise. These three elements correspond to the three dimensions we know in our physical world. We can go forward, that's bow speed, we can go up and down, that's pressure, and we can go sideways, that's your sounding point. Separating these elements will give you great possibilities for phrasing, beautiful choices for small inflections in your playing, and for projecting your musical choices to the audience.